Good morning. It's currently snowing in Mason, Ohio. Yes. Yeah. Gonna be so sick. It can just keep raining and snowing. It rained all night. A little bit of snow. There's not much snow on the ground, but it, there's some flurries. God, this is gonna be so sick. All right, we're uh, we're on the mission to grab coffee, and um, there's really no good coffee shops up here, so we'll figure it out. But I just had to had to drop a quick little little hint on the snow. Come back in a bit. Fast forward about hmm, five hours. We're now at the track. We're in mud gear. And it, it is looking so nasty. Oh, Let's see what Lance has got. Oh yes, he rides it. Yes, he rides it. He rides it. He rides it. That was uh, that was proper. That was proper. We're junior men just started. We're making the transfer down to the the Pan Am Plunge. We're gonna check it out and see uh, see how this looks on the first lap. And I got a feeling this is gonna create some good uh, entertainment. Here we go. Here we go. On foot is key, definitely. Yo, yo, yo. When you're racing in the mud and you're on foot, you can't just run traditionally. You gotta look for the foothold there. They're stacking up. You gotta look for the footholds. So you gotta, you gotta look where to plant your foot. You look for the flat surfaces, hooked surfaces. It's crucial to running. We're running out here too. They're getting lost. Because we're coming to Pan Am Plunge. <laughs> what was last year's sign? Uh, I don't know. What did you have last year? Close so, to easy, I think. Yeah. Like yeah. Hey! Yeah! We all need a plunge. Hey, hey. hey should have rode more swift, though. Hey! This is an annual race now. Yeah! Pan Am All Plunge! <laughs> oh, Panama. <laughs> Panama. <laughs> there you go off. <laughs> now, you know I love mud, but the first mud race is always one of those where it's kind of like in Formula One, where in free practice and it's new setups, they try to get as much track time as possible. You got to get familiar with the car, you got to get familiar with the bike, you got to get familiar with riding in the mud again. I love it. You ride relaxed, you stay calm, casual, but you gotta maximize your time on the track to get the practice in. Jamming away inside here, it's got so much space. Right, second round on the track. Like I said before, the more you just get to practice and get to practice, and the better you get out there. It's just track time in the mud. We're feeling really good. That second round was way better than the first round. So feeling feeling more and more confident out here in the mud. It's getting a little tackier, but it's still it's still greasy. It's still proper mud racing. Boom. Dude, see you tomorrow on the vlog. It looks like it's getting thicker out there. It's getting a little uh little windswept, it's drying out slightly. Still my tires. Still the monster truckers. It's good, it's good. All right, fast forward an hour and 20. We didn't do our usual. I'm gonna put this away, I'm gonna go race my bike, put on the skin suit, bada 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 bada. Sorry, missed that. Anyways, epic ride in the mud. And started to get sticky, kind of tacking it up a little bit. But, whoo, that was awesome. Got a immediately slow start. However, quickly, two, three turns in, was moving up, I think, to five, six, seven-ish. And we just kind of stayed there, stayed steady. Felt, a, felt great in the wet weather. Slipping and sliding, hitting the rut. It was proper, good stuff. Um, just doing a quick little cool down here and we're gonna get out of these clothes and into some dry stuff quickly, but what an awesome day. This place, 
Devu. I've never really liked racing here. Devu Park, you've always kind of done me dirty. However, when it gets muddy, oh, so sick. All right, when the races get muddy, these guys are the unsung heroes of the races. The mechanics, washing bikes in between the laps. Those guys, those guys down there, hold on. Those guys right there, SRAM NRS. Those guys kill it, crush it, support. All the mechanics, you guys, winners, they make it possible for us to do this when it's muddy. It's good, it's good. I know I just talked about it, but did I mention that today's race conditions were amazing? <sighs> proper, proper. No hiding out there, no group pack riding, just sick bike racing. It's grub time, you know where we're at today. We're gonna, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how it stacks up to the original. So if you recall, in Boulder, we ordered a Diahola pizza and a maize pizza. So we ordered the same and... Excuse the, the half bit piece. It's on point. It is on point. It, it tastes the exact same. So if you live in Ohio, Mason, Cincinnati area, come here. It's impressive. All right, so uh, we ended up getting... They misordered, mismade our order. We got three, three, three free pizzas. So, and we polished off. We we ate of the three extra. We ate six pizzas total. Um, there's four or five of us. We killed with an extra. No, we had more than nine pizzas. Well, we actually, it's not like sushi burrito. We didn't over order. We did. <laughs> we we ordered properly. <laughs> These guys were all here for sushi burrito too. <laughs> We ordered correctly. <laughs> we, we did. They they misordered. <laughs> they misordered, and so we got free pizzas and we just got free dessert. So, so far, I, I'm gonna put this one higher than the one in Boulder because they don't give me free stuff in Boulder. This the is bubble, cool. Bubble, the bubble, bubble, bubble. The bubble is blinding. They know I'm from California and they don't. They don't like me there. So, here's to the dessert. Done pizza. Thank you for the extras. So good. So good. Um, I got, I got, I got nothing else. We will see you guys tomorrow. More bike action. Hopefully more mud. But I'm, I'm leery. I'm leery of it. But you never know. You never know. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Over and out. Peace.